All right, the original Robotron had all these cool had this cool introduction. So now that's what we're going to do here with our Flash game. So I'm going to change the name of this layer to script. Okay. And then I'm going to make a new layer and this layer I'll call um frame labels. Okay. And I can even stretch this out a little bit here. All right. And then um, I'll make another layer right here, clicking this button, drag that to the bottom. And then I can call that BG for background, right? And I'm going to set up some frame labels. So first of all, I'll click on this keyframe on my frame labels layer, and I'll call this um, preloader. Okay, that's for when I get a preloader, let's say. And then on frame five, I'll put a, um, action uh, a keyframe here all right and I'll put a frame label on that one called intro so that's my intro right and um, then over here I'll put another keyframe Let's see right click on here insert keyframe and I'll call that one uh, game on let's say right and then another one, let's say on 15, F6, uh, game over. Okay, so now I've got these frame labels that I've made. And if you want to see the, the words, you could just stretch it out a little bit. So I could take this one, let's say, over to here to 20. Right, and there's 20. There's, And then I'll put a regular frame here so you can see the words, insert frame. Right, so there's game over, game on, intro, and then this is preloader right here. Okay, and so these could be different states for our game that we're going to go to. Now, the code we have so far, I'm going to grab that and I'm going to drag that over to game on because that's pretty much our game on code that we've been working on. And what I want to do now is I'm going to do kind of an intro thing and then some background graphics. Now, for the background graphics, on this game over here, I've got this border that I'm going to use, and I'll make one here. So I'm going to get my rectangle tool, no um, stroke here. So I've got the no sign on the stroke, and I've got paint bucket with blue color. And I'm going to, let's say, whoops, control Z on my rectangle tool. I want to set my rectangle options here back to zero, zero, and then okay there we go and I'll just draw out this rectangle and the rectangle I will then modify it by selecting it and making it the exact dimensions of my background so I'll change the width to 650 height to 500 and then set the X to 0 hit enter and the Y to 0 and hit enter so now I know it's perfectly set to my uh, size of my movie, but then I actually want to remove a little bit of it. Let's see here. I want to remove a little bit of it off the top. So let's remove, let's say, that much and then delete. Okay, so there it is. There's this background, right, color, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, by the way, I have it on the wrong layer. So I'll select it and cut it, edit, cut, go to the background layer, edit. I want to paste it now. I want to paste it right here. Edit, paste in place. It means same place. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to draw something else here. So I will I'm going to draw another colored box right on top of it. Hopefully I'll get this correct. And this will be my border for my game. Let's see here. That looks about correct. Okay. Now that I've got that in there, what I can do is I drew this second rectangle right over the other one. And now if I select it and delete it, I've now got this border shape on my background. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this border shape into a movie clip. So I select it, modify, convert to symbol, 
and I'll call it um, background dash border, right? It's not going to be a button. It's going to be a movie clip, right? Upper left-hand corner for registration. That's fine, right? And click OK. And so there it is, right? And then what I can do now is I can double click on it and I can make some um, some shape tweens to have it change colors while the game plays. So for instance on frame 10 here I can put a keyframe and change the color let's say click on the on the graphic and change the color to yellow and then go to frame 20 and insert a keyframe and change the color to let's say red or orange right and then on each one of these keyframes I can put a shape tween so I can do there and to a shape tween right and then when it goes to orange I want it to go back to blue again so I'll copy this frame and paste that on let's say 29 right and then I don't necessarily need a shape tween on that one so this one remove tween but I do one on one here so insert shape tween so now as you can see the background changes colors right but it's all inside this background border movie clip so if I go back to scene one it just looks like I've got this movie clip on the background and what I'll do is I'll have it I'm going to need frames so that it's not just playing on the preloader keyframe but all the way across so I'll go out here and insert frames so now I have this background that plays through my entire movie if I hit control enter you'll see there it is now changing colors kind of like the original um, Robotron game